Well, joining us now is David Monteith, the Dean of Leicester Cathedral, who conducted today's service. Uh, David, thank you for joining us. Now, I was at the service today, which was very fitting for King Richard III. Um, how has it been for you? Because it's been a long time in the making, hasn't it? It's been several years of my life, this project, and today I found it intensely moving especially seeing the king's coffin being shouldered to the place of burial and seeing it being lowered down into the, the grave with the soil being placed upon it, hugely moving. Well, it's appropriate actually that the truck carrying the stone now that will uh, actually cover Richard's grave has just arrived. That's the noise that we can hear. Can you tell us a little bit about the stone, which is just going to come into shot actually? Yes, I mean, my worries aren't over because throughout the night, the stonemasons are going to be moving a huge block of Swaledale fossil stone, weighing nearly two and a half tonnes onto the top of the tomb. Uh, it's cut deeply with a cross and it will be very evocative but it's a big job to be done throughout the night. Yes, and that's it behind us right that's now, it isn't now. it, covered it is. in the blue it is. plastic? That's right, it is. Okay, it so is. that's going to happen overnight. It is, and the, the stone is very, it's full of character, because you see endless fossils in it. Indeed, when I saw it in the workshop about two weeks ago, I saw a shark's tooth in it, which just reminds us that we're dealing with 500 years history, but of course we're dealing with much longer history in these islands, and the story of faith, which is much deeper. We're going to have to leave it there. David Monte, thank you so much for joining us. I know you agree it's been an incredible week, hasn't it? I shall never forget this day, ever.